how do you stop people from spinning around to face you during the matrix backtick? Can you elaborate, please? Sure. Yeah, there's a couple ways to uh, go about that. Let me switch to the mat cam real quick. So the first thing, when you're do when you're going for the matrix, and there's a lot of different ways you can set it up. My favorite, I think it's it depends on the systems you already play. Is I like doing it from this cross guard just because it's so I'm here so often from the other games I play. But this can easily happen from like X guard. Like I can be an X guard like this, and then like he kind of steps back a little over here like this. This is a really common situation. It's a very simple way to get here. So one big thing I'm always looking for, however I get in this position, I have an underhook and I grab some material near their calf like this, uh, is the foot angle. If his foot is angled outward, it's gonna be a very difficult matrix, okay? But I can't do it because I'm not gonna be able to buckle his knee inward. He's gonna turn his knee out a little bit here. You see, it's, I can't, he's gonna circle this way. So I'm always looking for the foot angle, right? And that's not something I can force. I have to take what he gives me. So if I'm here, like say I was playing cross sleeve, I go in here and I underhook here, my shoulder is kind of already resting on his foot. So it's hard for him to even turn his foot out in the first place. Here I'm threatening an olfata and stuff like this. Here it's gonna be very easy for me to go for, okay? If his foot was turned out, right, I'm not gonna go for it. I might switch in with a butterfly hook and come underneath the X. This is often where from here, I'll start switching up to attack the ankle lock. Cause counterly, the ankle lock works really good when his foot is turned out. Now I can get strong rotation and take him down and crack here, but I, I won't go into that too much right now. Okay, so let's say his foot is rotated in and I'm about to throw it. I'm gonna throw it and there's two things I'm gonna do. I like to jump my hip up. This is when they posture, it's a little bit different when they're lower, but I like to jump my hip up and see this left leg, how I clip his far hip. That makes it harder for him to step forward. See, step forward. See, it keeps me attached. It gives counter pressure. So it's not just this, it's that. Right, see, that makes catching the hip here, right, really easy, right? And he doesn't have normal D pants on, so I'm not gonna grab that. So I would grab the belt or the pant line here, right? So once I have the pant line, right, now it's easy from here to shrimp out like this, and I take the underhook out, and I come around here, and now I can start pulling it down, and then go in for the back tape from there, okay? So I would say, number one, I don't know the position you're setting it up from, but Number one is pay attention to the angle of their foot, making sure it's inward. If it's outward, it's going to be very difficult in the first place. Try to go to X guard and do something else. If you catch it with the foot pointed inward, then throw the uh, matrix hook over and then use the, the far leg to clip that hip. So go up. I'll show it from an omoplata this time. This is a great setup if you're doing it from an omoplata or a triangle. Is once I get the omoplata, I'm going to underhook the leg again, focusing on trying to get over that foot. And now what happens is as he postures up like this, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna drop from a deep omoplata to shallow. See how my heel is here? I clip him forward a little bit and then I clip the far hip here. Now I got the hip, it's hard for him to follow. Right, boom, come around and now I can pull and take the back from there. Cool.